What is going on guys? Today we have got Jota. We want to see how he is and to be honest, he's only a one upgrade in general and the, the kind of real big thing with him is the fact that he could be upgraded even more. Whether we see that happen is going to be down to the pro which I kind of like the vibe of. It's it's an extra thing. It's road to the knockouts. It's fantasy foot. They're trying all avenues, which is fair enough. It may not be the greatest team overall, but it is what it is. Whereas Jota can go to a 90 rated. He can also go to a 5-5 five five, and he will get in play star plus eventually, hopefully. And I think like he is one of the ones definitely in the money. Prem as well, which is always nice. I always like when we get an objective that is Prem as it just buffers that squad out even more. He is a four star, five star though, running through the stats. 5'10 with a high high. Can be striker, left wing or centre forward. I can imagine with the alternative position that he could get, I'd imagine that would be right wing or cam. I don't feel like they're going to put centre mid in there. It's going to be somewhat of a position that he should be playing. Good pace, shooting, pretty standard, good dribbling. Composure could do with some work, but with a quadruple upgrade, if we was to get into the big bucks, would be very nice as well. And decent physicality as well, not, not terrible. In terms of styles, we've got power header, we have got rapid, we've got relentless, and also aerial. If we was to go over to footbin to see what sort of chem style, as naturally, I am not too sure what I normally would go for him. So people are going out and out Hunter. I, I could have imagined, to be honest, it would give you 93 pace, 91 shooting, and you'd end up with an 89 rated striker. I mean, it's not terrible, is it? We will definitely take the grind. Eight matches to have got him done. Let's give him a go. FC24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to Sky Coach. Dot gg go onto the website and when you go to checkout make sure that you are using the code jt11 at checkout for your five percent off your orders and if you'd prefer to do this on mobile check out the screen right now with the qr code for their mobile app the one thing with jota is normally he is very very agile on the ball 87 86 on agility balance which definitely should really come through in this card. And it's good because I have been using Zola in there and our brand new striker that we've got in Eto. Very, very nice combination, which hopefully should work well with each other. Seeing him with the 1-2 with Son. Ooh, nearly got through there. The only thing is, strength-wise, he, he most... Un oh, that's going to be a goal. That's a save from Edison and gets the double. The only thing is, is, is strength-wise, he says that he's got a decent amount, but realistically, has he? That's going to be the big question. Should have a nice through ball. And I really, really, I, I kind of wish that they put the play style plus earlier on because I, I feel like by the time we get to the level that he is, a lot. I know a lot of these cards, the play style plus is what's going to add a very meta value to a lot of them. And hopefully, I'm, I'm praying, I don't know how they're going to figure this out, but I'm praying, go on, Jota, nearly KDB finishing it. I'm hoping that they let the pro pick, whether they do, we saw it with Kaka as a potential offer, but I know they te they technically didn't take the uh, the player that he wanted to actually choose. But if they was to be able to choose the play style, because you get a normal play style on like the second upgrade, but then on the third, I think it is third or fourth, you do get a play style plus. So I'm hoping that they do choose it. And you know, a striker has got to have finesse plus. So I'm hoping that that is the, the case. Oh, that's a great ball. Good save from Onana. Oh, we've got a bit of a header on him. I'm kind of gutted that they've taken Virgil off the front. I know Playstyle Plus on agility, or aerial in fact, would be much better to have in there. But he technically does have the normal Playstyle aerial, if that is anything to go off. Into his feet again, looking for the Dembele ball. Seems to be very good at link up more than anything. Kind of want to see him more forward if I can. Can we find him in this role? Look for that very, very terrible Traveller. Into his feet. Look for the 1-2 with Eto. Open some space. Little spinner back. Finds the shot. And Unana saves it again. It's a great, great turn. Into his feet. Easy option. Oh, there's Eto. Round the keeper. Lovely. 
get the angle and it's stunning. Great, great assist. I love it. He's absolutely on form straight off the bat here. There it is. Little one pass. It's gonna be Jota with the hat trick of goals. And we've managed to get our first rage quit. The one thing I would say with him is don't be too smitten with the card just yet. I'm hoping that they do get a dynamic at some point. I'm pretty sure after every upgrade, he's, he's meant to get another dynamic, which would be very, very nice. But I think when it comes to a card like this, he is only a plus one anyway as well. So literally, he's got free pace, free shooting, one on pass and dribbling defendant, and free physical. So even though... It's slightly better than a normal upgrade, which is, is definitely always nice. I, I would have been more annoyed if, again, it was just more like an inform upgrade like we saw with the icons. So at least we have got somewhat of a better plus one. It may not be better overall massively, but I will absolutely take some threes and twos rather than everything just being a plus one extra. So you have got that bonus on the 85 card, which again, you, you might not notice massively. I think a plus three on the shooting and pace is at least noticeable slightly. As we find him in there, it's great finish. Good play, good build up. So it, it's one of them with him. I do think if he wasn't a free card and you, you had to pay, say, like 200k, it would all depend. I, with them sort of cards, I'd like to try and get from packs upgrades, try and get them untradeable, like a Color Moane. Like that card would be incredible upgraded. But I don't even know how much his price is at the moment. And especially when he doesn't necessarily have the hugest of upgrades and i suppose actually the big thing is who's their pro that that is kind of winner's circle really text looks absolutely phenomenal but oh, off the line he is winning far more headers than i anticipated to be honest but when it comes to like Tex, he's got, I'm pretty sure he'd have Calvin Phillips, seeing as though he is at Man City. I'm assuming Jota, the, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a pro, to, a pro called Jota that actually is one as well. Son, oh, he's getting out muscled by Blanc. But I'm assuming he would have him or a Portuguese pro. But how, how, what, what is the chances of them actually winning? That's, that's what it all really comes down to. As somebody could have the best player in the world, but if they're not going to win the tournament, we're not going to see the biggest upgrades for him. Into his feet, always open. Very good at pushing the ball forward. We're looking... Oh, okay, I was looking for a sun ball, but didn't quite get that one. Good header. Good work. Eto trying something if we could have. Oh, there he is again. Oh, bottled it! Oh, but it doesn't matter. Four was going the wrong way, but Jota finds the back of the net again. So if we do go into the overall form then, in terms of the upgrade, like I said, we've got 3 3 one, 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 3 In terms of the other cards then, because... Oh, okay, that's market. What I am interested in is what is Colin Moana's then, because I know he's more of an upgrade anyway. So he's gone from an 84. So I suppose at the very minimum, they have gone for a little bit extra on some of them, which is nice. Mane's just a plus 1 or plus 2. I think he was an 86. And we're coming in... How much was he coming in at? 650. It's a it's a bit of a price ask, but Colin Moana, I absolutely love. He was a fantastic card. Willian's coming in at a million, which is crazy. Like I said, let me know down below if you know the pro in, in comparison to who they are. But Jota, I like the chances of him. Hopefully he does get something because we worked out we got 90 rated we could get to as a maximum. We'd end up with another playstyle, another position, a 5-5 five five if he does win it, and then also he gets a playstyle plus if he qualifies, I'm pretty sure. I don't quite know the ins and outs massively. I know it's points into then qualification. I'm, I'm assuming we've already got some points, so I, I don't know, unless they've not started yet. Again, it's not necessarily well conversed at the moment, but I can imagine either when this video has gone out or it might be already on Twitter now that it is all run down, break down the whole shebang. In terms of the card, then you add a hunter on him. I feel like he's a very good striker. He may not be the best in the world and, and, and you've definitely got a long list of strikers. A free card, you're kind of looking against Wilson. You're looking against... Watkins is an SBC, I suppose. In terms of Prem, we've now got quite a few. And I think it's only fair for him to go against Prem because naturally, you go with your Mbappes, you go with your heroes, your icons. He's not going to have a shot in hell. It's, it's just not going to happen. Whereas if we look in the Prem, I like Jao Pedro. I think he's a phenomenal striker. You've got Sonny Baby. Haaland, I'd say you're looking at the 94, 92 now, really. The gold is, is good, but I'm finding defenders are just so easily marking him now. You've got the Tevez, especially the UCL that's coming out soon. 
We have then got going a bit further down. Rashi at a massive price. Alvarez at 500. SBC player, if you did complete him. Cunha was the other free card, in fact. Then you've got the Watkins SBC. Keane as a hero. Wilson was an objective. And then you go even further down. And I think he's at a good level. I would say he's in... He's in the top 10 bracket by by for sure. I feel like Cunha was very good as well. Did have a bit more of a physicality battle. And it's going to be massive massive if he does get the playstyle pluses. For me, that takes him above and beyond. It's what really does kind of bring a card to the next level. And it's why it is always seen as a positive thing for an upgrade, for an evolution. If you get that playstyle plus and it's right, you can give him relentless all you want and he's going to be no different. He's, he have a bit more stamina, but we're after the finesse, we're after the power shot, even a chip shot, anything attacking-wise is going to be perfect for him. So it's an easy objective, eight games. It's a must, -ass. it's a must objective. At the very minimum, once he goes out, if he gets two rounds in, you don't have anything to do with the card now. You've got an 88, 89, 87 for free. It's an easy objective and could be fodder later on down the line. But for any card that upgrades, especially when it comes to an objective, it is an absolute must-do. Overall-wise, I'd give him a solid... I'd, I'd like to say 9 at this point, but I feel like I'd go for like an 8.5 to a 9. Because realistically, we are now starting to what, the 4th, 5th promo now, we've got a lot of high-end strikers, and there's got to be a differentiate between them. In terms of a free objective, definitely a 10 out of 10. Love it. 4-star, 5-star, Portuguese, Prem, Meta, very nice. But other than that, let me know if you're going to complete him. Peace!